What's up guys, Josh here again, and today we have another update video for you for week 13, the talent update. We have the talent respect now available. We have more slots in your dropship. We have a wolf. What's up guys, Josh here again, and today we have the Icarus week 13 content update. The talent respec, where we see the talent respec, more dropship slots, and more. Let's get into it, shall we? So we have the week 13 talent respec. Uh, Icarus week 13 update. The talent respec. It has been a while coming, but your patience has paid off. Our week 13 update introduces the much requested character respec system. With this feature, you will be able to undo talent point assignments and spend those points on other talents. Stability and crash fixes. This update includes some significant crash fixes. This is a top priority for the team and will continue to be. These will be rolled into every weekly update as we fix them. See below for details about how you can automatically submit a crash report. Our original intent was for players to create multiple characters to explore and specialize in each of the branches of talent trees while not developing any single overpowered character. We did this by having some limits on the number of talents and blueprints you could have. Last week, we rebalanced this by increasing the effective level cap to 50, allowing you to keep earning blueprint points beyond level 50, increasing the amount of talent points you could gain and in introducing solo talent points. However, we've also seen that you love your characters and are often more interested in developing them rather than creating new ones. This has led to requests for a way to redistribute talent points so you can keep growing and experimenting with your characters. We know some of you have been disappointed. We didn't provide a more stable and balanced game at launch, but hopefully these continued weekly updates show you we are working hard to address your concerns. Please consider leaving a review to support us. And if we have addressed your issues and your negative review, we'd love you to consider changing it to support the team. It makes a big difference for our team's morale. So how to respect your character. You could change your character's talents by buying respect points in the orbital station. They cost 150 Ren each. Down from 250 uh, from Experimental. To introduce this new feature this week, we're giving every player count 30 free respect points, plus introducing a way to earn even more Ren by trading exotics. We aim to make the cost of respecting accessible to those who play the game to its fullest extent by mining and completing the longer missions, but still cheap enough for casual players to tinker in small doses. Adam. Lead designer. To respec a talent, visit the talent screen on one of your characters in the station. On the talent screen, you'll see a respec points button in the top left. Clicking that button will let you choose how many respec points you wish to purchase with your available Ren. In order to use your respec points, just right click on the talent you wish to remove and you'll see a confirmation box asking if you wish to spend one respec point. You'll then gain one talent point back to spend. Respect points can be spent on any of your characters. You can also respect solo talent points, which we introduced in last week's patch when rebalancing the game for solo players. Earn more Rin by selling exotics. Want more Rin to fund your respects? In addition to respect, we've introduced a currency conversion system to convert exotics to Rin at a 1 to 5 ratio, meaning selling one exotic will net you 5 Rin. On the workshop screen, look for the new Sell Exotics button. This allows players to manage their currencies more freely and makes mining exotics even more lucrative. With many missions containing two or even three exotic deposits... Really? Okay, good to know. There's a potential to earn over 1,000 exotics from just one mission. That equates to around 5,000 to 6,000 Ren, enough to respect more than half of a level 50 character. We feel this is a pretty fair initial approach to expanding the economy in Icarus, and we have plans to introduce more currencies, conversions, and ways to get rich in the future. Money. We'd like to hear your feedback on these new systems, so make sure you visit the feature upvote and chat with us on Discord. Actually, I got to chat with Dean Hall not too long ago. Good guy, actually. We had long ago intended to ship with respec, but many were unhappy we didn't ship with it. We realized quickly that we needed to get it in, but we also needed to do it right. It touches on a lot of complex systems, so unfortunately it has taken longer than we liked but better late than never. So here it is. We will be closely working with the community to balance and develop this further, as with the rest of the game. Dean Hall. 
game runner. So they did have some crash and stability fixes. This is awesome because I've been waiting for this for a while. Fixing crashes that prevent you from even playing the game is our highest priority. And this week's update includes several crash fixes. We've also improved our crash reporting tools, nail several nasty bugs and crashes. If you experience a crash, don't ignore the window that can pop up. Please do send and close. Using the Unreal Engine Crash Reporter is really useful and will help our developers better pinpoint the cause of the crash and fix it faster. Here's another great addition to this latest update. Changes to the dropship inventory and meta workshop. One key change you'll find in the below patch notes is a change to meta workshop items where you'll no longer be able to stack these in your inventory. We've therefore also increased the chop ship inventory capacity from 10 to 15 slots to give you the ability to still take a sufficient amount of technology to and from the surface with you. While only a minor change, we wanted to address this as it's likely notice, notice on your first drop sh <laughs> since the update. That's wrong. It has to be wrong. Well, only a minor change. We wanted to address this as it's likely notice on your first noticed, I guess, on your first drop since the update. Okay. And then we have the detailed change log. This thing is freaking huge, guys. So we're going to go over and we're going to do what we do every single week. We're going to go through and go through all the change log and some items we're going to show you physically in game. So uh, the rest of them we're just going to read to you. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is add respect points for talents. So as you can see, we're going to go to our talents and we now have 33 respect points available. But as you can see, I'm currently on this prospect and it won't let me respect talent points unless I'm back in the station. So we're going to select another character here and we're going to go down to talents. And as you can see, Everyone has 30 respect points. I have three that I had from an earlier video this week. Thank you guys for watching that. But the respect points, as you can see, you could right click to spend one respect and respect the talent and reduce the talent by one point. If it's a three stack, you'd have to have three points to reduce this whole stack. One point for one. So everybody has the respect available. Gifted all players 30 respect points. All new players will receive 30 respect points on the first time they play the game. As we just shown, we have 30 respect points that were gifted to us. They fixed a visual gap on the crafting recipe UI, fixed max display level on prospect selection UI, crash added safety check to hopefully prevent crash when fetching subsystem during shutdown, fixed flags being unset when assigning stat bonuses due to talents, fixing spline collision for power cables, added workshop tree padding to fix Flipping issues and adjusting starting scroll position. Adding helper text on sleep screen until we can have proper tooltips on there. Adding additional feedback UI to purchasing respecting points and selling exotics. What you need to do for the exchange of exotics to Ren is go to your workshop. And at the top of the screen, you'll see a little bar here to click on that says sell exotics. And one exotic sells for five Ren. So let's sell, say 10 exotics for 50 Ren. So you'll select how much exotics you want to sell. And it'll tell you how much Ren you're receiving here below. And then just hit okay. As you can see, I exchanged, I exchanged some exotics for Ren. Crash. Fixing crash for town interface module accessing absent data. Possibly fixed voxel material crash can't reproduce. Implemented respect points to offline play. Fixed has crafting requirements issue. Respect removes the ability to craft armor. Anything that requires a flag. If the if the talent retrained relied that on that flag. Okay, can now refund multi-level talents even if we have dependent talents unlocked up until a rank of one. Can no longer refund a talent if it would invalidate a D talent ranks requirement. Player can no longer right click to retrain talents while on prospect or it's only available on the space station. We're going to go over to our talents and we're going to see if we can go ahead and yeah. So you still can't unlearn a talent, a prerequisite that requires. 
Increased dropship inventory slot count from 10 to 15 to allow more workshop items to be transported to from planet. This is amazing. So on your loadout or your dropship cargo, as you can see, we have a whole entire new row here on the bottom. So we can now carry 15 items over to the dropship. This is amazing. I've been wanting this for a very, very long time as a strict Nanio user, but this is amazing. So guys, thumbs up to you for that, for sure. Remove stacking from meta workshop items. This is to fix an issue where returning to station with stacked items destroyed all but one of the items. Fix level cap to level up pop-up was displaying incorrectly. Fix level cap on delete character prompt. Update names and icons for new talents. Fix losing prospect data in offline play. Talent tweaks adjusted parent-child relations to better suit talents accessibility. Add the second stage to field medic. Buff polo metric stats. Remove the first stage of naturally preserved to overall buff the talents versus cost. Fix dense packing one and two names. Added weight capacity talent to explorer tree which is pack lightly, increase inventory weight capacity by two, five, and 10% respectively. Add crops yield, health buff, stamina buff, melee damage, and foraging buff talents to cooking farming tree to better promote specialization in that area. Add increased damage for crafted arrows talent, increase craft time for bulk arrow, add pistol bulk ammo crafting talent and recipe. So the one that was new on that one was just pistol proficiency. Add increased stamina regen talent to repairing tree, which is ready to work. Increased stamina regeneration by 5, 15, and 30%. That would be a good spec to go into for sure. Increased yield on wheat crops by four times. Now gives you, it looks like about 16, 17, 10, six plots gave me about 100 wheat almost. Change pumpkin bread to use bread decayable, increasing its spoil time from 800 seconds to 3,600 seconds to match the other bread items. That's how you cook an Icarus. And then you just grab your little pumpkin out of the fridge. And you just put dough and pumpkin together. And you get pumpkin bread. And as you can see, pumpkin bread gives you 3,600 seconds until it spoils. Remove decay setup on pickled carrots. They no longer spoil. As you can see, will not spoil. Reverting FLOD, FISM. Optimizations for 1.1.3 so that they are rock collisions. Rock collision optimization went a bit too far. Fixed armor not attaching to the player correctly after retrieving it from the loot bag. Crash. Fixed the voxel material crash bug. Crash. Fixed occasional crash in the shelter system. Fixed issue where weapons would unload zero ammo back to player's inventory. Fixed a talent. Tree. Progress bar disappearing on max rank. Switch leather curtain window asset to new revision. Added LODs. So these are the leather curtains and what they look like currently. With the, the ties look like they may kind of sink into the leather curtain afterwards at the stop of the animation, but okay. Automating fire spatializer based on intensity of blaze removing old profiles and adjustment to spatializer from f mod update first pass on redesign of the solo talent tree and this is what the solo talent tree looks like now fix not being able to remove player waypoint by double clicking fix issue where players could have more than one waypoint i thought they did that last week Fixed waypoint markers not being given to correct color, same as owning player. Fixed map icon components not removing widget from parent once component was destroyed. Cliff pass and landscape sculpting on outpost to des desert. Cliff pass and lake sculpting pass on forest outpost three. Landscape sculpting 
and cliff placement outpost 008 arctic fire audio intensity adjustments and balances i have kind of noticed a little bit of like a it's a little bit more uh prominent that you hear flames especially with headphones on i did notice that quite a bit this patch so far scaled up water pipe spline and node meshes by two times and a drop ship sitting animation is this like a pack of buffaloes what in the f can work here? I did not mean to hit that, but okay. Sure, we'll go with it. Welcome to Icarus, friend. Looks like your first time down here. Call me Sol. Looks like paradise. But don't be fooled. The air is poison. Wildlife's out to kill you, and the weather's like nothing you've ever seen. I don't see much of a difference, to be honest with you. Except for maybe the smoking coming around the ship. Maybe that was there before. I, maybe I didn't notice it. And an all-lying in bed animation for new system. Increase XP curve to suit new leveling cap. Increase hidden max level from 120 to 1000 to ensure more BPs are always awarded. Increase player max level from 99 to 120 to allow enough points awarding to unlock every blueprint. 368 points currently awarded. 345 currently needed. Gives a buffer for future items. Add new destructible meshes to wood railings. Remove unneeded material slots. Added missing audio to events where it was randomly missing. Crash. Fixing client-only crash in FLOD due to FISM optimization. Fix bus routing for fire building event and ADSR adjustments. Tooltip now listens to an event and will update the shelter icon when the projection component Item changes. Submitted the destructible layers for the assets. BLD railing steers wood and BLD railings wood. Remove the stat from the voxel resource and change the hittable to consume input. Move light visibility toggling to BP skeleton item light base. Add fire building event. Duplicate the event with higher earlier intensity. And added to BP for testing. We enabled new map icon functionality for GOP creatures. Fixing durability bar overlapping L slot hotkey. Fine tuning the fire event duplicated with some more low level bush sounds and volumes for single fire instance bush upwards. Texture adjustments for handheld cables to match spline node color scheme. New material instance for separate socket meshes. And new mode meshes textures for electrical and water spline system. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We also are looking for another game to do some content for. So if you have a survival game that you enjoy watching, let me know in the comments down below. Or just say, hey. We actually respond to every single comment on the channel. Or at least try to. Hope to see you next time. It's a pretty bridge. See if I can run across it. Hey -ya! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's funny.